I was smiling when I first started. Yeah, I didn't have a secret. I just had something that no one else wanted to do. And uh, find the right wave, and there were a few around the little area where I live. Sucky bowl right-handers, like poor man's versions of VLAN. Get that right bowl, and uh, you could just link the right finless configuration into a perpetual bottom to top looping motion. At least that's what it felt like. And it's just the thrill of what it feels like after all. I've got a three foot six board, an unintentional three foot six board. The tail snapped off when a guy borrowed it for a surf. And I was at Jeffrey's and something made me think, well, perhaps if I just hack as much off the nose as is off the tail, there's only going to be that same set amount of rail, nose to tail, that sits in the pocket super well and drives. And it worked without nose and without tail. You've got that 3.6 of rail totally buried all the time. And if you can get the cut through the water just right at the point of the nose, uh, and if you can catch the waves, Boy, if you can catch the waves, it's a thrill. And there's no real reduction in speed. Just a totally different texture of surfing.